Hello lovely people, welcome back to a new video, or hello if you're new, thank you so much for being here. Firstly, please excuse my voice, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold, it kind of hit me out of nowhere last week and I just had a bit of a chilled out weekend trying to make myself feel a little bit better. Um, as you can tell, I'm still a little bit kind of nasally, but anyway, I have an exciting post. If you've been here since I did the Kickstarter, Kickstarter things are really kinding, kinding? starting to take form i should hopefully be having my items dispatched this week which means they should hopefully be with me next week which is really exciting but also terrifying i just really hope that they're exactly what i want them to be so last week i got the postcards ordered and the backing cards designed so those have arrived and i used printed.com for this order and it was my first kind of i have ordered bookmarks from them and i think these are like a silk paper and I kind of wish I'd done that with the backing cards. The backing cards are very paper-like. I just went with standard, but they feel they feel lovely, but they're very paper-like. Um, but I went with the little square ones because the pins are only one inch height. So they should, in theory, fit perfectly in here. I did do it on Photoshop and I did all the measurements, so it should be fine. And then I have my postcards. These are my story postcards. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a Pekka in Wonderland. Um, Pekka is my little penguin character uh, Kickstarter. So it was about him going around Wonderland. And then I did Christmas decorations and some enamel pins. So the decorations are all here. So we've got Candy Cane Pekka. And there's a story on the back of these postcards related to that. So that those that have pledged for decorations, if they wanted to, they could have turned that decoration into a story gift for someone. So they can gift the decoration and they can read the story. Um, and then they can keep this little piece of artwork. It's just, I just thought it'd be nice. Then we've got the Star Pekka. And this is the missing star. Um, so that's like a star decoration. Um, I mean, the, the decorations are exactly like this. But obviously in metal non-illustrated form like that does that make sense like they're not as detailed as this because they're in metal um and this one's like filled with glitter they're gonna be beautiful i really hope so and then this is the gingerbread house which is my personal favorite and this is the one that kind of inspired the whole kickstarter and then this is the christmas village gingerbread house so i've got my postcards there are quite limited numbers of these i've just got to count them all kind of wish i'd gone for the slightly thicker card but they are still really lovely and they are very kind of nice they like they feel nice i think these are silk did i get them as silk i think i did i'm not i can't remember to be 100 percent honest with you um so i've got a big stack of these that i need to check and make sure i've got the right quantities for because i had a few ordered through your kickstarter but there will be a few left over to go into the shop and then i've got a few boxes of backing cards i've got 300 of these um because i wanted them all to go on the same backing card and i'll have 100 of each pin design so there's a candy cane pin there is a pekka pin and a what's the last pin a wreath a christmas wreath which matches the wreath that's on the gingerbread house so they all kind of tie in together so that's my happy mail for today i just wanted to address quickly last week's video and just say thank you for your lovely comments and tips and advice and things like that to do with my artwork being stolen if you're not sure what i'm talking about i have a bestseller pin it is probably my most favorite pin it is my most popular pin it is the pin that gives me consistency within my sales the every step is growth pin some of you probably have this this design unfortunately was stolen and it's being replicated to a very low standard on shein timu aliexpress all that kind of stuff i got a reply from etsy and they have advised that i reach out to the shop that is selling the copied version of this and kind of see if I can deal with that shop to shop and if not then I can file an in, an intellectual infringement thing um they've sent me like a link to how to do that but they have had advi have advised that I do it kind of shop to shop initially that's the only person I've heard back from so far so yeah I'm I'm not I'm not upset, I'm just frustrated, um, but it, it means a lot to have you backing me and supporting me through this and while I navigate this, but I'm going to stop talking now because it's quite exhausting. I am working on some Patreon bits and bobs today. We have 40 patrons now, <laughs> which is just amazing. Thank you so much if you've joined Patreon. It's just... A dream come true to be honest and again the link is down below but i'm sending out my wallpapers today my little autumn fox wallpapers and it's very cute um so if you want to get those 
you need to join um but yeah i need to make the files for that and work out how to do it because i've never done it before <laughs> um but it'll be fine um so yeah i'll chat to you in a little bit so i've just had to put my brave pants on and i thought i'd come on here because i got a really quick response um to my message so i sent a message to one of the sellers in regards to the enamel pin design i think what's happened here is that someone's bought wholesale and obviously not known that it's stolen artwork so i messaged and just said that essentially etsy had told me to reach out and ask for the item to be taken down and if it wasn't that i could report an intellectual property infringement and i got the loveliest reply back and it just i could have cried in that moment i was so so nervous sending that email and let me get you the reply quickly it seems there's two shops selling or just one now selling the design but one of them replied and they just said i'm so sorry about this of course it was not done with intention i'll take down and review where i got them from uh got them from um and can i just say amazing artwork however so it was a really lovely message and i just obviously said thank you so much like you have no idea how much i appreciate this um especially as i was so scared to send that message so that's one shop that's taken it down and i checked the link and it says product no longer available <sighs> which just makes me so happy because for me, because I only sell on Etsy at the moment, having my item and then having copied items of that at much lower quality next to it just isn't what I want. Like, I don't want people thinking that maybe I've wholesaled this item as well and I'm just selling it so much more expensive than the other shops, especially if you go and search it on Google and you like, this place is selling it at ridiculous prices so i'm glad that one of those is down i'm hoping by the end of the day i'll have a reply for the other one i really hope so it's a bit scary as well because these shops are very new but then maybe it's good in some ways that a new shop going into the world um of wholesaling or selling items i know etsy is meant to be like a handmade platform but it definitely isn't just that anymore maybe it's good that i can shed a bit of light on the reality of selling these kind of items and how it can possibly get you into a bit of trouble so yeah i just wanted to, to come on because i feel really happy in this moment i thought i'd get some scary jobs done before i create my wallpaper for patreon so i'm going to do that now make myself feel a bit better i did the adult hard job and now i'm going to do something creative and fun for nice people <laughs> so i've just sent my patrons their phone and desktop wallpapers look how cute these are i know that the camera is going to pick up the screen really weirdly but it says you've got this because i see a lot of people using this pun recently and i think it's really really cute so i thought let's kind of incorporate that for the wallpaper because it's quite a good reminder so essentially it's like you've got this but you've got this with a really happy fox and i think it looks really good
hello it is wednesday i did film a little bit yesterday because we made some new thank you cards where did i put them there they are i'm so so happy with them i did look into ordering them online but my computer crashed <laughs> no it didn't we had a power cut yesterday really random and i lost a lot of the artwork that i'd done because i hadn't saved it and it only recovered like this kind of part so i thought right i'm just gonna print out these at home so they are blank on the back my hope was that i could order some more of these like my previous thank you cards so it had everything on the back but then like a space to write the name but we're just gonna go with this for now i probably will end up ordering them i just want to work out where i'm going to order them from because thank you cards aren't the cheapest thing in the world and obviously the more that i spend packing up orders it just kind of eats into the profit margin and the reality is a lot of the time people throw these in the bin so um i'm just working out what the best option would be for them because i like to get them in this small size this is like this is slightly smaller than a7 because i wanted to fit as many on a piece of paper as possible but i normally go for like a7 size so that they fit in my small square boxes yeah anyway they're really cute i really really love them i sent out some orders yesterday so thank you so much if you've supported the shop i have had a little flurry oh dropping boxes <laughs> i've had a little flurry of orders for the every step is growth pin um since my video about my artwork being stolen and about posting it on instagram as well so thank you so much if you've decided to buy one it's really kind of making me feel better about the whole situation when it first happened i had a few orders to pack up with that pin in and it made me feel a little bit sad in some ways because I felt like some of the magic had been taken away from that design but I'm slowly kind of coming around from that now and realizing that um, mine is you know the best and I am still so proud of that product regardless of it being stolen yeah thank you so much if you've grabbed one of those pins it really means a lot I had hoped to pick the camera up earlier today but they've been doing some work on the field opposite us I don't know they had this weird machine I don't know what it was doing but I decided to pack some boxes you can see here I've got a pile of them I had a big old delivery of boxes come because I normally order a hundred at a time and they last me a fair amount of time um, but because I've got nearly a hundred Kickstarter parcels to send out and we're coming up to the Christmas period I thought I'm gonna order 200 I should have enough space to store them in my cupboard I should be fine it's not the huge boxes they are just the a6 size i'm gonna fart fart <laughs> i'm gonna start <laughs> putting them on the bookcase because i have like an almost empty shelf so i'm gonna start stacking some of the boxes on there it just gives me less to do when things arrive because my manufacturer has told me that the kickstarter items should be dispatched this week which means if all goes well i should have them next week and i really really hope this is the case um but yeah i'm gonna carry on folding some boxes and then i'm gonna open some happy mail because i got sent a very lovely parcel from uh crafted by colette yeah crafted by colette so i'm gonna open this up and share it with you Okay, so apparently my battery is a little bit low so hopefully we can get through this lovely parcel before it dies <laughs> so i got the first thing i got this really lovely little note it says adele i'm so delighted to send you my first ever pr package i hope you enjoy the goodies inside and we'll share them online and there's also a discount code on here for you guys which is delis designs 10 i'll pop that on screen and that will get you 
10% off until the 31st of December. So you've got a few months to use this um, on orders over £5. So 10% off orders over £5. I think as well I can put a QR code on here. So if you're watching on like your telly and you have your phone next to you, you should be able to scan this QR code. I hope, and that should take you directly to Colette's um, website, I think, or Etsy store. That's where it should take you. And then we have this box of rainbow. I have had a look in here. I won't lie, I got a bit excited when it arrived, so I have had a look. And the first item is a handmade pin. And this is a little rainbow monster. Look how cute this is. And it's handmade as well. It has a little rubber class on the back there's a handmade pin and then we also have a little ghosty key ring apparently all of these little ghosties are different so you can get some with shimmer some have marble effects white ones clear ones there's lots of different kind of options um so this is the ghosty that i've got then we have this little sticker set these little stars how adorable are these they all have little different faces on them as well look they are so sweet. And then something that I'm quite excited for, which I haven't opened fully yet, is in this green bag. And this is something in a little airtight bag. So I'm gonna open this up. It says, please forgive my traveling condition. Open me up, fluff me out, and I'll be just fine. So give me two seconds. I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors. All right, let's give this a little... Oh, I can feel it expanding already. It's a little, oh my goodness, I'm just gonna fluff him out a little bit. Look at this. It's like a little, like, is it say what it is? I don't know exactly what creature it's meant to be, but we're gonna say it's like a little monster or something. It's a little handmade crochet monster. <laughs> Colette asked me my favorite color and I assumed it was just in general, but it was for this. How cute little squidgy thing. I love it. I'm going to put this on my desk. So thank you so much for sending that across, Colette. It really means a lot. Um, everything is adorable and you should be very proud. So yeah, I'm going to take my little squidger over to my desk. And I need to make some stickers because I did order packing yesterday. But I wasn't able to post or m even pack Alison's order because I haven't got any of the stickers that were ordered. So I need to make some of those today. Um, and get that one sent out. But yeah, it's very warm in here again today. It, it's not right. I just want to wear my jumpers like this and not be really warm. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'll chat to you in a little bit. So I've just made myself a nice fresh cup of tea. See that? It's very fresh. <laughs> Not that you can tell that it's hot. I don't know why I assumed that. Anyway, <laughs> I have been doing some cricketing. It went really well, thank goodness. Sometimes other cricket owners will know they don't always play ball, but they've been really kind to me today. Um, I made some Keep On Shining Pekka stickers for the order and then I also made some tags for my friend's business. My friend Harry reached out to me and asked if I could make some little kind of labels that he could put price and like a bit of extra information on these tags for items that are going into a local shop. I'll put on screen here what Harry or some of the items Harry makes. These are handmade pens they are stunning i will also put on harry's like 
at for Instagram. I don't believe he's selling on anything else at the moment. I might be completely wrong, but I believe it's just kind of Instagram at the moment. You can kind of buy through Instagram and then they're going into like a local shop. So yeah, I just had to mention that quickly because they are really lovely pens and I was very happy when he reached out to say, could you make some labels for me? And they came out really nice. They are packaged. They are down by the front door to go to the post box. Um, so I can't show you them because I didn't pick up my camera, which I was meant to do, but I was doing that. And I think this is gonna be it for the vlog. As you can hear in my voice, I'm still not feeling the best. And I kind of wanna just take, oh no, I've spilled tea. Oh no. Yeah, I kind of want to get this vlog edited and ready for Monday because I have a feeling next week is going to be a little bit crazy. At least I hope it is because that means my Kickstarter stuff is coming. I was told last at the end of last week that they should be shipped this week. I'm just waiting for some like photos to approve them before they're sent. Um, normally things like that are fine, but obviously these are quite detailed. I really hope they come. I think I have everything ready. I've just got to fold boxes and um, cut tissue paper, but I'm gonna do all that um, off of camera because it's not the most exciting content in the world for you, but I've got lots more boxes to fold. I've completely run out of tissue paper, so I need to sit and cut more of that. Well, I, I do have tissue paper, it's up here, but I haven't got any on my rail, um, so I need to sit and do that. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I am a bit nervous. Of course, I'm excited, but there's something about product that is funded through a Kickstarter that makes it extra scary because there's always that fear that it's not gonna turn out kind of how you want. But anyway, I should hopefully have things next week. Of course you will find out next week, but I just wanna take the week a bit more chilled out, get a bit more organized so that I don't feel overwhelmed when things do arrive because I'm gonna have to grade things and check things, unpack things, pack things to send out. It's gonna be a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna call that the end of the studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you for the love on last week's studio vlog about the pin palaver. Um, I'm still working behind the scenes to get that done, but your kind words and tips and advice has been really, really appreciated. So yeah, I wish you guys the loveliest day and I will speak to you next week. Bye.